Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Now, this is a video that I've been thinking quite a bit about thinking, about doing. Um, I've been thinking quite a bit about thinking. No, um, this is basically going to be, it's kind of like, um, it's like my address to the current situation of the game. Um, especially because all that we've encountered lately with the Black Friday deals and everything. Um, so I kind of want to go one by one through everything and just, just kind of talk about what I feel, where we are and how we're going in the game. I, and also what I kind of recommend to do right now. I'm, if you guys watched my, my latest, uh, my last update video, um, where at the very end I did that poll. Uh, and as you guys can see, I do not have enough jewels to pull right now. So I'm not going to pull anything right now. Um, but a lot of people have been telling me or asking me, you know, why haven't I pulled more yet? Or, um, or even just looking at our, uh, looking at our post channel on discord, um, the amount of polls that have come up and the amount of the amount of HD Soras, the amount of new metals, the amount of boosted metals, um, there, it can't be a coincidence. It can't be a coincidence that there's that much, that there's that much in the game right now. Um, it feels like more than just a coincidence. Let's look at two things first. So let's look at the let's look at the poll first. Um, right now, currently, yes, we are in the middle of a, of a high score challenge, and as of the moment of right now, um, I have not done the high score challenge yet. I haven't even touched that yet. Um, I want to. I want to touch the high score challenge, but I'll probably be doing that. Um, well, when I'm doing this video, I'll probably be doing it later. Uh, and I actually want to run by each one of the different paths, but more on that later. Um, so the Black Friday deal, two major things that jump out of me at this is a, the fact that they, they did reduce the number of pulls. So five pulls, right? Uh, so it's going to take five pulls now to be able to get the guaranteed metal. Um, from what I've seen, from what I've been told and from what I've heard, most people have already gotten the HD Sora before the before the five pulls, um, which is like wow. I mean, that's incredible. That's incredible. Um, I got one of my first one. Very incredible. The reason that I would pull from this from this deal, okay. The reason why I would pull from this deal, and I don't think it says here. What does it say there? Um, okay, the reason I want to pull from this deal is because this deal, when we first saw it, we thought it was going to be that fabled orbed EMC, and it kind of is. It it almost kind of is an orbed EMC. If they would have made it that you could have gotten the HD Sora on the fifth pull orbed, I think it would have been a lot different uh, because then you only would have had to do 10 pulls to guilt your HD Sora. Okay, so 10 pulls, $200, right? Instead, if you're not able and if you have to pull for HD Sora and you have to get the guaranteed one seven times to be able to guilt it, you're still looking at what? So you get one every five. So 35 pulls, right? Um, yeah. Right. So, so you're looking, you're still looking at a $700 gilded metal, right? Uh, and I may have said that wrong with the number of pulls. Sorry. Um, no, you don't have to do 35 times. Do you have to do 35 times? Five pulls for one. Seven times that, yeah, 35. So 35 times. <laughs> okay, um, it's still a $700 medal. Yes, that is half the cost of what it would cost in originally guilt a legendary, $1,400. Um, 
so and okay and this is something else that i want to talk about right now um you're gonna you guys are gonna hear me talk a lot about money in this in this video and i kind of feel like we really need to we really need to talk in quantity in like dollar signs and how much money something costs because a lot of times we just talk jewels and you can say thirty thousand jewels okay so it costs you know before it would cost 30,000 jewels to get one guaranteed, the mercy pull. Now we're saying it's gonna cost you 15,000 jewels, but 15,000 jewels, you can just think of, okay, 15,000 jewels. That's still $100, $100. And it's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of money. And I know a lot of times people are like, oh, well, you know, if you buy VIP, you get 3,000 jewels for 15 bucks. True, but how many people save up every single one of their VIP, um, you know, money? The other reason why I want to talk about this, and this is something really important, actually. Um, gilted medals. If you've pulled in this game, okay, if you want to complete certain things like be in the top thousand i'm not even going to talk, talk about being top of the game but let's say you want to be top thousand in a high score challenge like i thankfully have been almost every single time it's not because of me pulling and getting the medals that will give me the percentage it's the fact that i already have medals previously that enable me to be able to complete certain challenges um right before this video i was able to uh, well let me show you guys the setup that i have I was able to um, one turn, not 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 one turn, but you know, in one yeah, in one turn, I was able to in one turn um, defeat a level seventy spider. The raid bosses right now, level seventy raid boss spider, um, and this is what I used: um, gilted musketeer goofy at ninety two percent, gilted Zelda at ninety one percent, not a gilted Sora, not a gilted Jack and Sally, and Illustrator Kyrie, but these medals here are medals that i have before and my heavy hitters were these last two like zaldin and zaldin is an amazing medal he's an amazing medal but what i'm trying to say is if you want to be at the a level in this game where you can one turn a level 70 spider where you can complete the ultra challenges for the mog for the mog keyblade uh, if you want to be in the top thousand or possibly even top 200 in a high score challenge, if you want to be in the top uh, scores in um, in Coliseum, if you want to be able to complete the challenges that come out in this game all the time, you have to be spending an, a very large amount of money. Um, just pulling a few times in a new emc is not going to get you to that point and that's kind of where i'm trying to go here you need to have a lot of different things you need to have the skills on your medals as well you need to have the sids to have the sids you have to be buying vip every single week so there's a lot of different things that you have to be doing in this game to be at a level to be able to do things now as you guys saw here, I don't have a Gilted Illustrated Sora. If I had a Gilted Illustrated Sora, if I had a Gilted Jack and Sally, I could go much further in this game as well. Um, and there are a lot of people out there who do have that. And A, congratulations, well done. I don't know if you spent a lot of money or if you have really good luck in your pulls, but congratulations. I want to pull from this epic metal carnival and and I know we don't call it Black Friday deal whatever we want to call it um, I know that to me I don't know if you guys are confused by this but I'm confused by this I'm confused by the fact that the banner does not say epic metal carnival it says Black Friday deal it just it just confuses me because I'm used to thinking epic metal carnival and if this said epic metal carnival and it said this up here and everything it kind of makes you feel like again we didn't get lied to okay we didn't get lied to but they did kind of omit certain information that for me personally it made me feel really and it's still i'm still very uneasy and unsure about this deal 
when you look at here at black friday deal and you look up here and you see six star three orbs then instantly in your mind you think i am guaranteed two six stars in every single one of these now if i pull and if i happen to get a legendary medal well that's a six star medal so that means that six star medal is going to become orb or is going to come orb and i think for me personally that's where i'm so confused with this with this thing that i thought you're going to get six star orbs if you get any six star you get is going to be orbed um and instead of doing that what they did was that not only you're still going to get the two but if you get a legendary it'll it won't be orb and still the amount of orbs that i've been seeing th there's a lot more i'm sorry the amount of legendary medals that i've been seeing there's quite a few more legendary medals and that's good but i just feel like something is missing from this and maybe it's the fact that all not, not all legendaries are coming in orb but then again if they had come in orb oh my goodness can you imagine that can you imagine how much people would be pulling right now i, I don't i don't want to think about it. the next thing i want to talk about is the all epics now again this deal is good why am i so hesitant on pulling on this deal honestly guys i don't know I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out what is it about this deal that I'm so scared about when it says all epics. This means you are guaranteed to get. Okay, let's let's take the orb legendary concept out of this. Okay, let's just get it out of here. There are no tier two medals in this banner. There are no tier two medals in this banner. It's such a good deal. Kind of. Um... I look at my medals and I see a lot of epics that I have that I would like to reroll guilt on. I don't know yet if I'm going to pull on this, guys. Um, if I do, you guys know it's probably going to be Wednesday after we get the tweet. Or Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday after we get the tweet. Because we still have five days left. So if I do pull, it's gonna. I'm going to, for some, I don't know why, but I'm waiting till then to see exactly what happens um and also i do think the other thing okay i think the other reason why i'm so hesitant to pull is because i already got the hd sora and again i am still shocked okay you guys want to see something this is how shocked i am this is how shocked i am that i got that hd sora i haven't done anything to it okay it's been two three days now since i got it i haven't even touched it I have not taken it to 100 over 100. I haven't put anything on it. I am just so shocked that I got this medal on my first pull that I don't even know what to do with myself, guys. I don't know what to do. I'm like, um, I'm, I'm not used to this. I don't get this. I, I mean, I don't get the legendary the banner legendary on the first poll i i that doesn't happen to me so that might be why i'm so hesitant to to do anything with it i don't know um okay second thing i want to talk about well third thing i want to talk about is the boards um and can we go to the let's go to the notice first to the boards and again i apologize guys this is a long let's talk but there is a lot of things that i want to get out of my head here um and, and talk to you guys about this. So, um, uh, Disney Prince. Okay. So, the Disney Princesses boards. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. 160 dollars. 20 dollars per board. Yes, if you pull the five dollar, you know, if you want to put your three thousand jewels from the five dollar VIP Black Friday VIP towards this, it's fine. But I'm just talking basic money. Okay. 2,000 jewels is $20. There are eight of these, okay? $160 to buy every single one of these boards. And you can't even wear the other gender's outfit. Not that I want to wear, wear you know, uh, Princess Jasmine's outfit. And not that I want to, you know, go around Ariel's. Although that, 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 that thing in her head is pretty cool. <laughs> or not that I want to, you know, dress up in. Okay, uh, who am I kidding? I wouldn't mind dressing up in the in the golden in the golden. Come on, with the Moogle head, you're telling me this wouldn't look awesome. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> um, 
you can't even use their outfit so you're not even purchasing the other outfit but what you are purchasing are the skills now this is something i'm going to say i am this close to buying every single one of these i have not purchased a single one of these yet um I know most of the people who watch me are not going to have $160 to buy this. So this is my recommendation. And this is my recommendation for this. Um, the bell earrings and the beast horns at skill perk plus six is very cool. I am going to get for sure. I am going to get the beast outfit for that skill perk. It is amazing. Um, no cost. I still haven't found an incredibly good use for it. So I, I'm, I'm, you know, it's a good skill. Uh, Triton, Triton, Triton and, um, and Aerial. If you missed out on the previous time getting the Sleep Plus, Paralysis Plus, Poison Plus and Attack Boost 2 Max, if you, okay, that, just the Sleep Plus, Paralysis Plus and Poison Plus are awesome. Throw in the Attack Boost 2 Max on top of this and these boards these ones right here these boards may be may be the best one here so this is my recommendation to you if you have 2000 jewels saved up get at least one of these sleep plus paralysis plus and poison plus are incredible metals you are so going to need them in the future they are awesome they are so 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 awesome the mail board doesn't have the skill wait what Don't buy the male beast board. It doesn't have the skill. But it says beast horns. Bell earrings, skill perk plus six, or beast horns. Right? Take a closer look at the beast board. Beast horns have no perk. Oh, only the bell earrings? Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, yes, as always, I am streaming right now. And I guess you guys are right. It just says it for just the earrings. Oh, well, that's not fair, is it? So the beast tail gets an item drop perk of plus three. But the bell earrings get a skill perk of plus six. Oh, okay. Well, all right. So, okay. Pause, rewind. Don't get that. Um, I was going to get the beast horns just because of that. Because I thought, oh, skill perk plus six. Awesome. Oh, Mail already has a plus six skill perk. Where does it have it? Okay, good to know. Let's continue. Um, well, see... You know what? The only thing that I would buy this outfit for then, the avatar outfit, would be for the power gem then. The only reason I would buy this would be for the power gem. Wow. Okay. Um, well, no. Oh, the SIDS. Okay. So you've got two times 20 SIDS. Oh. Okay. See, the thing for me is I may not spend any more money this time around on the pulls. And I'm, I may actually put all of my money towards the avatar boards because the chip, the chip and Dales, the SIDS, the magic mirror, it's, is it worth it $20 to me? <sighs> wow. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's keep going then. Um, so Triton and Ariel, you don't get the SIDS and everything, but you do get all the skills again. 
Attack boost two maxes and crit is wonderful. I love it. As you guys know, I put it on each one of my musketeers, and I do want to take those musketeers all to 100. Um, sleep plus, paralysis plus, and poisons plus are wonderful medals, especially if you put sleep plus at the end whenever you're trying to do a Colosseum. Wonderful medal. Paralysis plus and poison plus. Poison plus on my bell has saved my life countless times. Very good. Uh, okay, so keep going. Uh, the Alice in Wonderland ones. Okay, and you know what? L let me just say this. I am not purchasing any of these avatar boards for the outfit. I, I just don't. Um, I've gotten to the point where I'm very established in the outfit that I wear. And as you guys know, I'm just... I'm always wearing the, 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 duck, the duck feathery butt. That's just what I wear now. Um, so I'm looking more at what's inside of these boards. And in this one... Again, 20 sits in each board. Uh, three chips, three chips, three dales. I made a big mistake in the last high score challenge and I wasted about 3,000 chips um, trying to do something that did not work at all. So I feel really bad about that and I really need more chips and dales because I'm, I'm like out of chips. Attack boost 2 plus Lux plus. <laughs> Attack boost 2 plus. I haven't used Attack boost 2 plus Lux plus yet. I should. I really should and I should put it, especially when I'm doing, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, when I'm raiding uh, or trying to get Lux. Uh, if, if you're trying to do, if you're actually definitely trying to do Lux um, to rank up in the Lux rankings, I highly recommend that you get some of these. Again, for the speed gem as well, we haven't really gotten speed gems, so... I don't know. All my Keyblades are still at 25. So, you know, I don't think so. Okay, next one. Aladdin. Um, this, okay, apart from the, um, the what's it called? The, uh, the Ariel and Triton uh, Avatar boards. This is the only one that I kind of recommend. Actually, I really do recommend it. Uh, attack Boost 2, AB2 plus APP. Attack Price Plus plus Attack Boost 2. Um... This is a good one too. This is a good one. Uh, so AB two plus attack plus uh, at, uh, AB two plus APP is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, skill. Um, it really makes a difference when you put it on certain metals. Again, if you guys again, my setups could usually consist of Illustria Kyrie, uh, JNS, and then I have uh, Illustria Terra, Illustria Sor, Illustria Riku, and that moves into my fourth slot, which is usually a Musketeer. That's just a combination that I really enjoy. Um, that, that's just a combination that I use. So I use my attack boost twos plus APP. Sorry, my, yeah, my AB2 plus APPs. I use those on my Illustrated Terra, Illustrated Riku, and Illustrated Sora. Um, I really wanted a couple more, maybe to put one on a JNS or you know to have another one in reserve so I'm, I'm i'm gonna get these i'm gonna get these and also because these also come with the 20 sids per board as you guys know sids go away so fast it's it's something that if especially when you, when you want to do high score challenges chips and dales and sids become a very precious commodity which brings us to high score challenge now as I said before, I haven't sometimes during high score challenges or during the score assistance deals. If you guys have seen, I do pull quite a bit during the score assistance deals. The reason why I pull during the score assistance deals is because of the medals that are there and usually the medals that I need. Um, I don't need tier two medals anymore, and I am trying to avoid any. I, I try to avoid like the plague, any any deal that has the possibility of having tier two medals. The problem with tier two medals for me is that the problem with tier two medals for me is that they, I don't use them. I don't really use tier two medals anymore, but I want tier two medals because then I can reroll guilt and hopefully get closer to Nova, to the the max uh, the max guilt, to get the Nova level, the five Nova levels, so I don't have to use my mirrors. Mirrors are this precious commodity now. I 
I was going to talk about some other stuff and do a, a talk about high score challenge, but we're going to leave that for another video in the future. Um, I think personally for me with this game, I, I'm trying to look towards the future of this game. Um, I have a feeling this, this game... We're going to see a lot of big things in January and February. Um, yes, I will be playing 2.0 when it comes out and what other other game comes after that. I'm really excited to see what they're going to bring with the whole uh, multiplayer angle where you can, you know, play with party members and go up against certain um, certain uh, heartless with that. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see that. That should be really fun. Especially, it'll be really fun to be able to, you know, play with others and and you know just enjoy the game like that you know with our party members and everything i think that would be really fun maybe if they implement a friend system it would be really cool to do that if you wanted to right now buy every single avatar boards and guaranteed guilt and hd sora you're looking at about 860 dollars okay let's say that you get a couple more hd soras and let's just say it costs you about 700 bucks 700 dollars to be able to guilt an hd sora is the metal worth it guilted i don't know i don't have it is any legendary metal worth gilded gilded i don't know i don't have any legendary metal gilded um so that would be a better question for someone else but i kind of feel that as we progress in this game and as always whenever i do these let's talk there's always a part where i'm kind of like you know um i hope for i hope that someone in square enix is watching this because usually at the very end i have a part where this is for square enix $5 for VIP every single week is good. $15 a week for VIP is so much money. $5 a week is great. It's great. And please keep it that way. Um, if you just, you know, if, if, okay, I, I really hope, I really hope. I really hope that Square Enix, they're looking at the numbers at the end, like after on Monday or Tuesday, okay? And they're looking at just the spike of people that bought VIP. Because I guarantee you that there are so many people who have never bought VIP that bought, bought VIP for $5. And if, if you just kept it that way, then all those people are still going to keep buying it. And... And you're going to make more money, okay? And that's the thing. You're just going to make more money because there's going to be so many people who are going to buy it for $5. Um, and the polls. I mean, well, avatar boards. 2,000 jewels for avatar. It's still, I still really hope that one day you guys are going to drop them down to, to 1,000. A thousand, $10. $10 an avatar board is is nice. Is is okay. Um It's still a lot of money and please don't release eight boards all at once again. Um, eight avatars, eight avatar boards all at once is just, it's so much and they're going away soon and it's, it's a lot. Um, two a month is great. Eight right now is, it's, it's a little too much. It's a little too heavy, but please, if you dropping them down to a thousand is really great it's still ten dollars an avatar board it's still a lot of money it'd be great with regards to polls i really hope that they leave polls at five uh five for the guaranteed one um five for the guaranteed one is just great um and still three thousand jewels a pull it's i would love if one day each pull is a thousand jewels it's still ten dollars and that's that's the thing when you think oh a thousand jewels oh that's too little no it's still ten dollars for pixels okay so ten dollars for pixels is is still pretty great you know it's still pretty awesome 
Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to keep asking this. I'm going to keep asking for this from Square Enix because the game has been around for a while now. A lot of people have put a lot of money into this game and as time progresses and as the game continues, it, it will help and encourage people to continue being interested and continue wanting to play the game. That's all I'm saying about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll talk about High Score Challenge. You know what? I'm going to do a couple of videos actually doing the High Score Challenge. Uh, and then I'll talk about it there because there is a lot of talk about to talk there with the rewards, how the rewards are coming now, the whole Orb Malef Malef Maleficent thing and what that could possibly mean. Um, we'll talk about that in some other day, but or another instance, another video. But yeah, guys, sorry for this huge let's talk. I just I wanted to tell you guys because a lot of people have been asking me, should I pull? Shouldn't I pull it? What should I spend? What should I spend on? And again, first of all, and well, mainly it's your money, guys. You guys do whatever you want. Some guy on, on a YouTube video telling you what to do. No, I mean, and that's why I, I'm not telling you guys what to do. But I will recommend this is what I recommend. You know, if if you guys are going or you do want to spend an avatar board, um, like I said, the reasons for getting, you know, the, the, the boards with AB, AB2 plus APP or the, or the plus skill ones, those are, you know, pretty good. Or if you're wanting, or if you're needing SIDS more than anything else, you know, then 20 SIDS per board is pretty awesome. Or the Chips and Dales, like in my case, I really want the Chip and Dales and, and SID boards because I need those. And the mirrors too. I do need mirrors too, although they do give us quite a few mirrors and, and Chip and Dales. Although we didn't get a weekend raid event this time. And I was going to, I was kind of coming to depend. I was kind of coming to depend on those. Anyway, um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. This has been a very long let's talk um, with regards to, you know, just how I feel about these, uh, how I feel about this, you know, how I feel about where we are in the game right now. We're past day 230 almost now. <sighs> Since April 7th, guys, we have been playing this game day in and day out. Lots of hours, um, lots of jewels spent, lots of jewels collected. So we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens next week. We'll see what happens in the future. And uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.